Hey, good evening, parents and students. Uh, tonight, you're going to take your first practice test, and I'm going to give this to you. Um, a lot of the times when we do practice tests on Thursdays, I'll just have the parents or siblings or aunts or uncles or someone read the words, but um, I'm going to give the practice test tonight. So uh, here we go. Good. So here we go. All right. I'm going to start out with my green group. So here we are, green groupers. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set up your page. So follow along with me so we can set your page up properly. All right, first thing you're going to do in your reading workshop notebook, right? We're going to use our reading workshop notebook is you're going to put your name and your date at the top, okay? Then you'll skip a line. We're going to skip this line right here. Come down in the center. You're going to write spelling test. Now this next step is really important. You're going to skip one more line and you're going to put words and then your sort green group, vowel, vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant, and vowel, consonant, silent E all on the same line. All right. All on the same line. And then you're going to do three vertical lines and they don't, you could, they could be real close to each other. All right. They can be really close to each other. Now, you're going to go down one line, one line, and you're going to start your numbering, 1 through 24. And your numbering is going to happen in the margin. Okay, right here's the margin on this side of the pink line. All right? <clears throat> Pause the video right now. Get your page set up the way I have it. It should look identical to, to the way I have it. All right. Pause your video. Okay. You paused your video. You set your page up the way I have it right there. And now we're ready to take our spelling test. So um, remember, at any point during the spelling test, you guys can go ahead and pause your video and um, take your time, spell your words. Okay. Here we go. Number one, chief, chief. Number two, wrap. I like to wrap gifts. Wrap. Number three, smell, smell. Number four, wine. Don't whine to me if you don't do well on your test, if you didn't take your practice test wine number five fruit fruit hey josh will you shut off like the two center lights and leave one set of fruit number six twig twig number seven sharp sharp mm, no these ones i want to going that's good perfect sharp number eight theme theme the theme of tonight's homework is do your best theme number nine brief brief your homework tonight should be brief number 10 when when number 11 Thank. I want to thank you for being well behaved in class today. Number 12, brave. Brave. Be brave and do your best. Number 13, scout. Scout. Number 14, plot. Plot. Usually a good plot has characters and setting and problems and solution plot 15 front front let me fix this really quick there we go 15 was front sit at the front of the bus 16 scale scale i stood on the scale today and weighed 165 
scale. 17, groan, groan. Don't let out a groan tomorrow when it's time to grade your test. Groan. 18, clog, clog. I had a clog in my sink. 19, climb, climb. I like to climb mountains. 20, phone, phone. I like to talk on my phone. 21, stain, stain. I got a stain on my shirt while eating lunch. 22, quit. You should try hard and never quit. 23, trust, trust. If you studied your words and worked hard, trust that you will do well. Trust, number 24. Quote, quote, you should put quotation marks over speaking parts. Quote, quote. All right, guys, that's your practice test. You're going to write your words. As you write your words, you're, you're just hit, write them right down as you go. As I give you, one goes in one, two goes in two. When we get back in class, I'm going to show you how to sort them. Okay? Very good. Um. So tonight, when you're sorting them, actually, I'll go over that right with you right now. So follow along with me. Let's say number one is chief, right? So let's do that. Okay, number one is chief. So what pattern does that follow? It follows vowel, vowel, consonant. So I'm going to put a check mark there. But let's say number, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five was fruit, right? Or let's do six was twig. Twig follows the vowel consonant pattern. So I'm going to put the check mark here in vowel consonant. So go ahead and sort your words like that tonight, okay? I want you to spell all your words out first. When you're done spelling your words, I want you to go ahead and sort them out. So spell all your words first and over here in this column, right? And then when you're done, you can use the check marks to put them in the correct category. Good luck tonight, you guys. Tadero out.